Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is called Ganong's photometer. Now, uh, this instrument which is Ganong's photometer is very much used in biology labs to find out the transpiration rate of a plant. Now, what do you mean by transpiration rate? So, first of all, what is transpiration? Transpiration is the loss of water from the Mm, uh, aerial parts of a plant excess loss of water like we people we also sweat the sweat which comes out of our body is the excess water so similarly plants also give out excess water not in the form of water droplets or any sweat but they give out water from the aerial parts of the plant in the form of water vapor and that is called transpiration and to measure the rate of transpiration or the speed of transpiration for a particular plant, we have an instrument which is called photometer. This photometer is designed in such a way that it can calculate the rate of transpiration. That means whether a plant is transpiring very, very fast or whether it is a slow transpiring plant. Okay. So, this uh, instrument is called a photometer and it is designed like this. It is fully made up of glass. See this entire setup. It's like a test tube followed by a long slender tube like this which is bent. This entire setup is made up of glass. Not only that, this small reservoir which you can see, this is also made up of glass. Okay, And this bent mouth that is put inside another beaker which contains colored water. Not the normal transparent water. I have added some little dye into the water to make it colored. Now why have I colored it? That also I will let you know. And the remaining the entire setup of this photometer that is filled with normal water. Normal water means uncolored water. So this entire setup this is in filled with water uncolored water even this reservoir also contains a lot of water in it but the only thing is that there is a tap over here there is a tap over here and this tap regulates the flow of the water from this reservoir into this tube long slender tube that means when I like on the tap the water from the reservoir flows into the pipe and when I close the tap, the water stops flowing from the reservoir. Now, this reservoir also has a very important function. Let me tell you that. Okay. So, this is the entire setup. Okay. And another thing this Ganong photometer should have is that inside this photometer, inside this long slender pipe, I must have an air bubble inside. Okay. Which is not desirable generally. But... For this measuring the rate of transpiration, okay, I need a bubble, okay. And so I have a bubble over here. And if you can see that this bubble is placed just in front of a ruler or a scale. Okay, just before this zero reading, it's present. And see, on the normal, it's like, the scale is like a normal scale. Like it has reading 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that, okay. This also has a very important significance. Okay, and this test tube part which you can see, a test tube like part, this contains a small twig inside. Suppose this is the plant whose transpiration rate I want to find out. So, I will take this plant, a small twig rather, I place it inside this uh, test tube, can inside the water and ensure that this twig is a living twig. It should not be a dead one. Okay, and it must have leaves on it leaf must be there because if leaf is not there how will transpiration happen okay so leaf has to be there uh, for transpiration to happen because only if transpiration happens then only we can find the rate of the transpiration and this entire setup is kept under sunlight because sunlight is a very important phenomenon which is required for transpiration it is only under the sunlight that the stomata will open and the moment the stomata opens automatically transpiration will begin Okay, so when I keep this setup, the full setup under sunlight, what is going to happen? The stomatas on the leaves, they are going to open and the moment they open, the water vapor will be released into the atmosphere. Okay, so the plant is losing water from its body. So the plant will be very thirsty. 
so definitely the plant will be absorbing water by the roots from where will it get the water from the reservoir this test tube which you are seeing it will take the water from the it will suck water from the tube because there is sufficient water in the uh, in this tube now as the water is being sucked okay in this direction automatically the water inside this long channel will be sucked in this direction so there will be a flow of water towards this twig okay and where will and how will the water flow definitely the water will be sucked from the beaker containing the colored water so you will see that this colored water is gradually rising as time is passing by this colored water is actually gradually rising through this tube and another thing which is happening is as this colored water is rising through the tube the water molecules they are moving in front it is pushing these air bubble this is the air bubble which i had told you this air bubble is being pushed and as the air bubble is being pushed the air bubble is moving forward okay so suppose the air bubble is moving forward very very slowly it has moved till 2 and for move fan from uh, for moving uh, from this point to this point suppose it has taken say 20 minutes and then i stop the reaction then i stop this experiment okay so i can easily find the rate of the transpiration now one thing the air bubble getting moved from the say this is position a and this is position b so the air bubble is moving from position a to position b why is it moving because the air bubble is being pushed by the water which is sucked from the this colored water beaker and why is the water getting into the colored beaker it is because the plant is transpiring so there is an indirect relationship between transpiration and the water being sucked by, from this colored be colored water containing beaker and there is also a relation indirect relation with the air bubble being pushed forward and the scale is kept over here <coughs> to understand or to help me out that how much distance this uh, air bubble has traveled in what amount in what period of time and that will give us an idea about the speed or the rate of transpiration if it has traveled a long distance within a very short span of time definitely the rate will be high and if it has traveled a very small distance say it has moved from 0 to 1 only within a particular span of time then definitely the rate of transpiration will be low okay and this rate of transpiration is also dependent upon in, in that what environmental circumstances i am putting this twig see see over here i am putting it in under sunlight okay see the sunlight during the noon time it is very harsh okay so automatically the transpiration rate will be very very high but if the same thing the, the same experiment i did during the dawn maybe just when the sunlight is coming out okay when the sunlight is not that strong so automatically the rate of transpiration will be low okay so suppose we finished one experiment with this twig now i remove this and i put a fresh twig inside okay and i want to do another experiment but the bubble is still over here so i have to shift the bubble over here now how will i shift it this reservoir will help me in that case so the moment i turn on the tap the water from this reservoir will flow through this pipe in both the directions so it will be flowing in this direction also and it will be pushing this bubble which was at b and it will be forced it to go from here to here and then the moment the bubble comes over here again i turn off the tap so my bubble is fixed at position a okay so this is what has happened in ganong's photometer so ganong's photometer is an equipment which was discovered by ganong and hence the name ganong's photometer okay and this is a glass equipment and its work is to measure the rate of transpiration of a particular plant but the one thing you must uh, uh, note that the plant which you are taking for the experiment that has to be a living plant number 1 number 2 the air bubble introduction is very difficult not everybody can do it you need a good hand a person who is very good at introducing air bubble okay number 2 and uh, number 3 is that uh, you have to take a twig which is definitely living but at the same time you have to take a good quality of twig which is going to re remain alive for a very long period of 
टाइम ओके सो थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड डेफिनेटली यू पुट अ थम्स अप एंड यू पुट अ बेल आईकॉन ऑल्सो सो दैट वेन एवर आई एम पुटिंग एनी न्यू वीडियोज यू विल बी नोटिफाइड अबाउट इट थैंक्स अ लॉट आई एम विल बी कमिंग विथ मेनी सच वीडियोज इन फ्यूचर ऑल्सो ओके सो स्टे सेफ एंड बाय